And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall be a singular, singular vow, the person shall be for the Lord by thy estimation. And thy estimation shall be of the male from twenty years old, even unto six years old. Even thy estimation shall be fifty shekels of silver, and after the shekel of the sanctuary. And if it be a female, then thy estimation shall be thirty shekels. And if it be from five years old, even unto twenty years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male twenty shekels, and for the female ten shekels. And if it be from a month old, even unto five years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male five shekels of silver. And for the female, thy estimation shall be three shekels of silver. And if it be from sixty years old and above, if it be a male, then thy estimation shall be fifteen shekels, and for the female, ten shekels. But if he be poorer than thy estimation, then he shall represent himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him. According to his ability that vowed shall the priest value him. And if it be a beast, whereof men bring an offering unto the Lord, all that any man giveth of such unto the Lord shall be holy. He shall not alter it, nor change it, a good for a bad, or a bad for a good. And if he shall at all change beast for beast, then it and the exchange thereof shall be holy. And if it be any unclean beast of which they do not offer sacrifice unto the Lord, then he shall present the beast before the priest. And the priest shall value it, whether it be good or bad, as though as thou valuest it. Who art the priest, so, so shall it be. But if he will at all redeem it, then he shall add a fifth part thereof unto thy estimation. And when a man shall sanctify his house to be holy unto the Lord, then the priest shall estimate it. Whether it be good or bad, as the priest shall estimate it, so shall it stand. And if he that sanctified it will redeem his house, then he shall add the fifth part of, of the money of thy estimation unto it, and it shall be his. And if a man shall sanctify unto the Lord some part of the field, of his possession, then thy estimation shall be according to the seed thereof. And Homer of barley seed shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he sanctify his field from the year of Jubilee, according to thy estimation, it shall stand. But if he but if he sanctify his field after the Jubilee, then the priest shall reckon unto him the money according to the years that remain, even unto the year of the Jubilee. And it shall be abated from thy estimation. And if he that sanctified the field will in any wise redeem it, then he shall add the fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it. And it shall be assured to him. And if he will not redeem the field, or if he have sold the field to another man, he shall not be redeemed any more. But the field, when it goeth out in the jubilee, shall be holy unto the Lord, as the field devoted the possession thereof shall be the priest's. And if a man sanctify unto the Lord a field which he had bought, he has bought, which is not of the field of his possession, then the priest shall reckon unto him the worthy of thy estimation, even unto the year of the jubilee. And he shall give thine estimation in that day as a holy thing unto the Lord. In the year of the jubilee, the field shall return unto him of whom it was bought, even to him to whom the possession of the land did belong. And all thy estimation shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Twenty jurahs shall be shekel. Only the first thing of the beast, which should be the Lord's first thing, no man shall sanctify it. Whether it be an ox or sheep, it is the Lord's. And if it be of an unclean beast, then he shall redeem it according to thine estimation, and shall add a fifth part of it thereto. Or if it be not redeemed, then it shall be sold. To thy estimation, notwithstanding no devoted thing that a man shall devote unto the Lord of all that he hath, both of man and beast, and of the field of his possession shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted thing is most holy unto the Lord. None devoted, which shall be devoted of men, shall be redeemed, but shall surely be put to death. And all the tithes of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is it the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. And if a man will at all redeem aught of his tithes, he shall add thereto the fifth part of it, the fifth part thereof. And concerning the tithe of the herd or of the flock, even of whatsoever path is under the rod, the tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. He shall not 
search whether it be good or bad neither shall he change it and if he change it at all then both it and the change thereof shall be holy it shall not be redeemed these are the commandments which the lord commanded moses for the children of israel in mount sinai the book of numbers chapter one and the lord spake unto moses in the wilderness of sinai in the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month in the second year after they were come out of the land of egypt saying take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of israel after their families by the house of their fathers with the number of their names every male by their poles from twenty years old and upward all that are able to go forth to war in israel thou and aaron shall number them by their armies and with you there shall be a man of every tribe every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of the tribe of Reuben, Elizur the son of Shadur, of Simeon, Shalumiel the son of Zurishadai, of Judah, Nashan the son of Amminadab, of Issachar, Nethanel the son of Zuar, of Zebulun, Eliab the son of Halon, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishema the son of Amihud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel the son of Pedazer, of Benjamin, Abidon the son of Gideoni, of Dan, Ahiazer the son of Amishadai, of Asher, Pagiel the son of Okran, of Gad, Eliasaph the son of Duel, of Naphtali, Ahira the son of Enan. These were the renowned of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands in Israel. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward by their poles. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Simeon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered of them, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. Of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Gad, were forty and five thousand six hundred and fifty. Of the children of Judah, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Judah, were threescore and fourteen thousand and six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Zebulun, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Zebulun, were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, 
by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Dan, by their generations after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Dan, were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered. And the princes of Israel, being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. So were all those that were numbered of the children of Israel, by the house of their fathers, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war in Israel. Even all they that were numbered were six hundred thousand, and three thousand, and five hundred and fifty. But the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, Only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. But thou shalt appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all things that belong to it, they shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof, and they shall minister unto it, and shall encamp round about the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle setteth forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levites shall set it up, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard throughout their hosts. But the Levites shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony, that there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of testimony. And the children of Israel did, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So did they. The Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Every man of the children of the of Israel shall pitch by his own standard, with the ensign of their father's house far off about the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch, and on the east side toward the rising of the sun shall they of shall of the sun shall they of the standard of the camp of Judah pitch throughout their armies, and Nashon the son of Amadam, Amadam shall be captain of the children of Judah. And his hosts, and those that were numbered of them, were threescore and fourteen thousand and six hundred. And those that do pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar. And Nethanil, Neth Neth the son of Zuar, shall be the captain of the children of Issachar. And his hosts, and those that were numbered thereof, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Then the tribe of Zebulun, and Il Eliab, the son of Helon, shall be the captain of the children of Zebulun. And his hosts, and those that were numbered thereof were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. All that were numbered in the camp of Judah were an hundred thousand and fourscore thousand and six thousand and four hundred throughout their armies. These shall first set forth. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their armies. And the captain of the children of Reuben shall be Elazor, the son of Shedor, and his hosts. And those that were numbered thereof were forty and six thousand and five hundred. And those which pitch by him shall be the tribe of Simeon, and the, the captain of the children of Simeon shall be Shalumiel, the son of Zerushaddai, and his hosts. And those that were numbered of them were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. And the tribe of Gad, and the captain of the sons of Gad shall be Elisaphat, El Elisef, the son of Reuel, and his hosts. And those that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. 
and that were numbered in the camp of Reuben were an hundred thousand and fifty and one thousand and four hundred and fifty throughout their armies, and they shall set forth in the second rank. Then the tabernacle of the congregation shall set for forward with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp as they in camp so thou so they shall set forward every man in his place by their standards on the west side shall be the standard of the camp ephraim according to their armies and the, the captain of the sons of ephraim shall be elishama the son of amihud and his hosts and those were numbered of them were forty thousand and five hundred and by him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, and the captain of the children of Manasseh shall be gamaliel the son of Pedazur and his hosts, and those that were numbered of them were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Then the tribe of Benjamin, and the captain of the sons of Benjamin shall be Abaddon, the son of Gideona, Gideoni, and his hosts, and those were numbered of them were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. All that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were an hundred thousand and eight thousand and a hundred throughout their armies, and they shall go forward in the third rank. The standard of the camp, camp of Dan shall be on the north side by their armies. And the captain of the children of Dan shall be Ahizer, the son of Amishadai, and his hosts. And those were numbered of them were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. And those that encamped by him shall be the tribe of Asher. And the captain of the children of Asher shall be Pegio, the son of Okran. And his hosts, and those that were numbered of them were forty and, and one thousand and five hundred. Then the tribe of Naphtali, and the captain of the children of Naphtali, shall be ah Ahira, the son of Enan, and his hosts. And those were, that were numbered of them were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. And they that and they that were numbered in the camp of Dan were an hundred thousand and fifty and seven thousand and six hundred. They shall go hindmost with their standards. These are those which were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers. All those who were numbered of the camps throughout their hosts were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, and the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel did according to all the Lord commanded Moses. So they pitched by their standards, and so they set forward every one after their families according to the house of their fathers. Numbers chapter 3 These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spake with Moses in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the first. Numbers chapter 3 These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spake with Moses in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. And Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him. And they shall keep his charge and the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation to do the service of the tabernacle. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation and the charge of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. 
For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be. I am the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi after the house of their fathers by their families. Every male from a month old and upward shalt thou number them. And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord as he was commanded. And these were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon and Kohath and Mirari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram and Izahar, Hebron and Uzziel. And the sons of Mirari by their families, Malai and Mushai. These are the families of the Levites according to the house of their fathers. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shemites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, even those that were numbered of them were seven thousand and five hundred. The families of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward, and the chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph the son of Laal. And the charge of the sons of Gershon and the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle and the tent, the covering thereof, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the hangings of the court, and the curtain for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about, and the cords of it for all the service thereof. And of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, and the family of the Izaharites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. In the number of all the males from a month old and upward were 8,600 keeping the charge of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle southward, and the chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uzziel. And their charge shall be the ark, and the table, and the candlestick, and the altars, and the vessels of the sanctuary wherewith they minister, and the hanging, and all the service thereof. And Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall be chief over the chief of the Levites, and have the oversight of them that keep the charge of the sanctuary. Of Mirari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Mirari. And those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward were six thousand and two hundred. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of Mirari was Zuriel the son of Abihail. These shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward. And under the custody and charge of the sons of Mirari shall be the boards of the tabernacle and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and all the vessels thereof, and all that serveth thereto and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. But those that encamp before the tabernacle toward the east, even before the tabernacle of the congregation eastward, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary for the charge of the children of Israel. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. All that were numbered of the Levites, which Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord, throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty and two thousand. And the Lord said unto Moses, Number all the firstborn of the males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. And thou shalt take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the cattle of the Levites instead of all the firstlings among the cattle of the children of Israel. And Moses numbered, as the Lord commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel. And all the firstborn males by the number of names, from a month old and upward, of those that were numbered of them, were twenty and two thousand two hundred and threescore and thirteen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle, and the Levites shall be mine, I am the Lord. 
and for those that are to be redeemed of the two hundred and threescore and thirteen of the firstborn of the children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by the pole, after the shekel of the sanctuary shalt thou take them. The shekel is twenty giras. And thou shalt give the money, wherewith the odd number of them is to be redeemed, unto Aaron and to his sons. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over and above them that were redeemed by the Levites. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel took he the money, a thousand three hundred and threescore and five shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Numbers Numbers 4. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Koath from among the sons of Levi, after their families, by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even until fifty years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This shall be the service of the sons of Koath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things. And when the camp setteth forward, Aaron shall come, and his sons, and they shall take down the covering veil, and cover the ark of the testimony with it, and shall put thereon the covering of badgers' skins, and shall spread over it a cloth holy of blue, and shall put in the staves thereof. And upon the table of showbread they shall spread a cloth of blue, and put thereon the dishes, and the spoons, and the bowls, and covers to cover with all, and the continual bread shall be thereon. And they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet, and cover the same with the covering of badgers' skins, and shall put in the staves thereof. And they shall take a cloth of blue, and cover the candlestick of the light, and his lamps, and his tongs, and his snuff dishes, and all the oil vessels thereof, wherewith they minister unto it. And they shall put it in all the vessels thereof within a covering of badgers' skins, and shall put it upon a bar, and upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue, and cover it with a covering of badgers' skins, and shall put to the staves thereof. And they shall take all the instruments of ministry, wherewith they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a cloth of blue, and cover them with a covering of badgers' skins, and shall put them on a bar. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth thereon. And they shall put upon it all the vessels thereof, wherewith they minister about it, even the censers, the flesh hooks, and the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar, and they shall spread upon it a covering of badgers' skins, and put to the staves of it. And when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary, and all the vessels of the sanctuary as the camp is to set forward, after that the sons of Koath shall come to bear it. But they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Koath in the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the office of Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest pertaineth the oil for the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of all the tabernacle, and of all that therein is, in the sanctuary, and in the vessels thereof. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites, from among the Levites. But thus do unto them, that they may live and not die, when they approach unto the most holy things. Aaron and his son shall go in, and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon, 
throughout the houses of their fathers by their families. From thirty years old and upward until fifty years old shalt thou number them, all that enter in to perform the service, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, to serve and for burdens. And they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle, and the tabernacle of the congregation, his covering, and the covering of the badger skins that is above upon it, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the hanging for the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about, and their cords, and all the instruments of their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. At the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Geshenites, in all their burdens, and in all their service, and ye shall appoint unto them in charge all their burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merai, thou shalt number them after their families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward even unto fifty years old shalt thou number them, every one that entereth into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, the boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and sockets thereof. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service. And by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service, in the tabernacle of the congregation under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. And Moses and Aaron, and the chief of the congregation, numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families, and after the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service, for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. And those that were numbered of them by their families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were they that were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, which Moses and Aaron did number, according to the commandment of the Lord, by the hand of Moses. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout their families and by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service, for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those that were numbered of them throughout their families by the house of their fathers were two thousand and six hundred and thirty. These are they that were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, who Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord. And those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari throughout their families by the house of their fathers from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those that were numbered of them after their families were three thousand and two hundred. These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merai, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those that were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the chief of Israel numbered, after their families, and after the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those that were numbered of them were eight thousand and five hundred and fourscore. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, every one according to his service and according to his burden. Thus were they numbered of him as the Lord commanded Moses.